action. Good morning. So today, what our plan is take all of this chill note, raise this base up about four more inches, do the same down there, bring that all up, and then we're gonna get started on the rest of the base of the dry stack wall. So you guys will see the progress along the way. So as you guys saw in the time lapse, we got our base lifted up. Now we're able to redo the Chilton second time. Second time's a charm, yeah, right? No, she's locked in there. Drewski oh, and Bobby God, are <laughs> poking away at the dry stack wall. It's looking fantastic. He wiggled my shim out. <laughs> He's wrecking my wall. <laughs> Stay on your own side. I just need a second guess, just to make sure. Bobby, got anything to say? Yeah, two things. When doing a dry stack wall, number one, wear a mask. Don't do it. Kind of. Number two, you guys can see we do it the old fashioned way. So we shim everything. We don't use concrete. In the winter, if it heaves and water gets in between there and it cracks one of these blocks out, one of the blocks fall out, you can't use it again because you have concrete stuck on it. Uh, there's actually a third thing that we learned when we did the dry stack last year that's immensely important when you do a dry stack wall. Organize your blocks. Our pallet had anything from three inch to four and a half and we actually sat there and measured each one of them and made rows so we got three inch three and a quarter three and a half three and three quarters I organize them by every quarter inch it's insanely helpful because you're going to want to do one line one stack or one row of your wall with one size block and if you're just going through the pallet and grabbing anything and trying i can't even imagine how much of a disaster that would be it would just be so hard. So organize first, save you a lot of time in the long run. Action, yeah. We have made more progress on that base. The base that is now, oh, I don't know, in some areas it's probably 28 inches high, no joke. Especially on that side. Brad will show you that right now. All of this is base down this hill. So like we had to bring it up from below this sprinkler so we could get this as level as possible. So we're actually pretty close on our top tier. Uh, we're all within like an inch or so, inch or two of where we want to be. Down here we're within a half inch of where we want to be, which means uh, we can start being really particular. Start piping. Pipe master here. Laying pipe. A pipe master is <laughs> gonna no start going. <laughs> it's gonna start going to town up here, and you guys will see how he does going it. To town, laying pipe. <laughs> well, as you guys have seen, we have been doing bass for a very long time approximately two weeks. Hey, we are finally on our final layer of crushed granite. So as you can see behind me, we've done a lot of base, um, like three to four inches of this crushed granite. Also working on this boulder wall. I'll be going to pick up the boulder shortly. I'm thinking like 12 to 16 inch Real boulders is what we'll be using for that. Let's get rolling. Uh, this feels good. We finally are making some progress. Not saying we weren't before, but we just did a lot of base for the last like week. So where we're at today is we finally got our final layer of base. In. As you can see, Bobby and Brian, they went through and piped out the whole thing today uh, to make it perfectly level. Arnie and I knocked out this boulder wall. This was something that they added on at the end. They just wanted something to tie in this hill with all of this. Boulder wall looks great, honestly. So yeah, it's a solid day and we'll get back after tomorrow. Good morning. Agenda today, we're gonna get all these steppers in. Also, Bobby is gonna be finishing up his wall right here. You can see he's in the zone over there. He's getting dialed in. These walls are not fun, especially towards the end because you end up using all of your good rock for the bottom layers and then you're stuck with kind of the crappy ones to finish it off. So 
he's been a little bit frustrated, but he'll get that done today. And yeah, let's get going. guys saw through part of the time lapse we got the stone steppers in there's gonna be two to four inch river rock that goes around those they're gonna look very nice other update is bob finally got his wall done you guys can see this took probably like three full days of work time it looks amazing yeah, we're gonna put some arborvitaes a couple other plants and river rock in there as well the next thing you guys will be seeing us do is add dirt all the way around the outside here. We're gonna be building that up to the height that it needs to be at. Finish some of the edging in spots like this where we left open just with the slope and stuff. So we got all that squared away. Let's get it rolling. We got planned today. Bobby is running over all that dirt. That's soon to be a built up berm. Um, we are realizing that we're gonna need more dirt before we start planting that backside and then putting rock in. Checklist, dirt, plant, fabric, and then rock. We're hoping to get all that done today. On this side right over here, maybe up to this corner. I doubt we'll get that far today, but we'll see. Also the middle planter box. So that's all gonna get planted before we install all the turf next week. So let's get going. Update. Update number one. You guys have seen us make a berm. Now, when you're doing a berm in landscaping, there's a couple of things you should keep in mind. For example, if we wanted to make a berm that was gonna have plants that just spread all over this berm, you see this? If we wanted to just be thick with plants, we wouldn't compact it at all. Because if it's loose, the roots will kind of spread out and it'd be full of plants. In this scenario, we're doing a clean look. So we're doing rocks, we're doing plants that are a little more contemporary. So in that case, we don't want the plants to spread. Therefore, you saw us come in here and we've just been packing it over and over and over again, both to take care of the settling and to make sure the plants really don't spread out and grow like crazy. Second thing that's happening, we got some plants coming in. This is pretty exciting. You can see we got yellow ribbon arborvitaes. We got some blue stems. We got some dwarf globe arborvitaes, oh, a beautiful birch. Getting exciting. Things are starting to really shape up. Now all we have to do is plant this side. Then we're going to work on some green, some turf, which will be awesome. And then uh, we'll keep on rocking and planting after that. So stay tuned. We're almost there. Uh, 